Hello everyone. I hope you are enjoying a wonderful summer. Now as some of you will know, August 1st will mark one year since I was fortunate enough to join the Brock University community. And it has been a busy year. Over this time, we have finalized and approved our new academic plan. We've completed the transition to Brightspace, our new learning management system. We've revised the examination policy, expanded the spectrum of course delivery modes, established a new grant program to support faculty who wish to adopt open educational resources. We've completed redesigns of both the Center for Pedagogical Innovation and Co-op Career and Experiential Education. We've advanced supports for trauma-informed practices, classroom modernization, and the Scholarship of Teaching and Learning, and of course celebrated our exceptional instructors and teaching assistants. Now, two major themes of the past year has been the development of internal partnerships on the one hand and the prioritizing of accessibility in the context of teaching and learning. Now, reflective of this, I'm delighted to share that the Center for Pedagogical Innovation and Student Accessibility Services have been working together to jointly develop a new position that will focus on supporting faculty when it comes to designing courses to be more inclusive and accessible. We are in fact in the concluding stages of this search process at present and we look forward to introducing this new resource and member of the university community to you soon. In addition to this, I want to also want to flag another major focus of our work over the next year, which will concern bolstering our supports for effective assessment, especially in relation to the advent of generative AI, artificial intelligence tools such as ChatGPT, BARD, DALI and others. Our goal is to provide you with practical guidance with assessment design that you can draw on to best suit your disciplinary context and course learning outcomes. Now, in some cases, this may involve making sure students demonstrate the messy metacognitive process of learning through approaches like iterative and incremental revise and resubmit assignments. In other cases, this may look like assessing higher order thinking through application or creation, whether in the form of experiential learning projects, open pedagogy, wherein students contribute to the public knowledge commons, or even multimodal assignments. Our guidance, which will be informed by discussions in the Provost's Advisory Group on Artificial Intelligence, will complement CPI's workshops and events, as well as our ongoing individual and department level consultations. For now, I hope you've really been enjoying some well-earned time off, and I do want to say it has been a sincere pleasure to get to know many of you over this past year, and I certainly look forward to continuing to serve you as we move towards the fall. Thank you.